This is how we lay out for display shelf units. This is the plinth which serves as the footprint of the unit, minus about 18, 20 mil, because that will end up faced with a painted fascia scribed to the, the carpet. What we do next is we simply cut around this using it as a template so that we can cut out carpet. Um, so we just left the carpet like this. Cut out carpet um, so it sits on the solid floor. We can then level it with these feet until the whole thing's level and then we'll put packers as well in between the feet to help bear the weight down to the floor. So here's the carpet cut back. The gripper which was along the wall there I've taken off and put it here so that we've got a properly fitted carpet. This will end up tucking just underneath the plinth so we don't have to worry too much about a precise cut edge. We're not carpet fitters but you do end up with a very clean look because the plinth just sits cleanly on top of that edge there. So there's the plinth all levelled and secured. We've got some packers in between the feet to help bear the weight. And then in a few places, I've also fitted some metal brackets because I find that if it's held down tight to the floor, you can check the level and it won't shift so much when the weight of the units goes on. But what I'm also doing at this stage is putting the plinth fascia parts on. These are, these are pre-painted to match how the rest, the rest of the unit will be. So they've been scribed up to the skirting and um, in this particular unit we've got this brake front, this bit that sticks forward. Now they're just fitting simply to the front of that because there'll be a side panel that will come down that will come down and, and cover that after. That'll make sense later. These I like to fit these at this stage because I can fix them with pocket hole screws uh, just used simply to, to join the wood. I just find these screws grab really well and the thickness is about right. So they'll go in the back and then there's no filling or overpainting to be done. Um, so that's all just ready and finished as a plinth by the time the units go on. Now we've brought up the units which we assembled and pre-painted in the workshop. They're just loose fit to check that they fit as they should and they do. The important one here is this one that needs to finish flush either side with the plinth and then that'll receive a cover panel which will just butt up to the unit behind it so that will all be grey. The back panels are deliberately left brown that was just the look that the customer wanted and it saved a little bit on the uh, the spraying costs. So once these are screwed together they'll be fixed to the wall with metal brackets out of sight to stop them tipping. The joining screws will be wax filled with a close match of wax and then a little dab of paint to blend it in and we'll fit some scribes to the wall uh, and then there's there's just a door going on this part here and um, apart from any final corking and touching up that should be done. This is the other unit which we're fitting at the same time, very similar method. The only thing this has got that the other one doesn't have in terms of the installation of it is an end panel um, we stick to a pretty simple system with all these, it's 18mm units that are fixed together so you get this doubled up 18 mil, uh, doubled up 36mm vertical so we then just match that by having a, an 18mm side panel that goes on, on the side there so that's centre side over size and over long on height so what I'm just in the process of doing is I've, I've measured off the top down to the carpet front and back, I'm about to cut that, and then I'll do my scribe at the back, uh, fix that on with, with screws from the inside, and then that one's just about done as well.